Welcome to the Swamp, home of the Florida Gators. And we've long been told it is here that only the Gators get out alive. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 20 team in the country, the Ole Miss Rebels, taking on a fellow SEC opponent, the Florida Gators. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. We'll kick it away to start. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. The Gators' offense will get the first crack at it here. And here comes the quarterback. And one thing you know for sure with this team, as he goes, so goes the offense. And he's a big-time talent, Reese. This guy can hurt you in a multitude of ways, throwing and running the football. He's going to have to be dialed in, though, because this defense is going to give him a lot of different looks. It's really important mentally this QB is on his game. Mr. Two-Bits would be proud. The Gators standing up and hollering for a first down. Now, how does that cheer go? Well, first you have to have the yellow shirt and the striped tie and go two-bits, four-bits, six-bits, a dollar, all for the Gators. Stand up and holler. Fast motion from the offense. Right back to the well. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad. You tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. The D thinking bring some heat on third and long from the 44. To the air. It's Flagway. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Well, they try to throw for it there on third down on the opening drive of the game. They don't get it, but let's punt the ball away. Let's trust our defense. And, guys, let's also trust this home field advantage and the crowd to get loud and make it real difficult on our phone. The Gators will line up to punt it away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. The Rebels' offense will try to get something started with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. The Rebels want to move quickly. Pulls it and fires to the left. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. This crowd, full throat, spreading the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. They'll try to run for it. Quick spin on the run. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. And the Rebels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to pass. It's dark. Makes his connection. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. In college football, you see this a ton now. You use a quick passing game, basically as the running game. Get a few yards, get your offense ahead of the sticks, keeps it on pace for success. They want to get this defense on its heels. He 
He'll keep it himself. The quarterback gets enough. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. To the air on first down. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Well, you know what they say, tips lead to picks. So the offense, they're lucky that one wasn't intercepted. After the misfire, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Glass half full, glass half empty, guys. Obviously great, they got a completion. We prefer that over incompletions or interceptions. Glass half empty. They made that third down a bit more manageable. But not much. Third and On third and long, he has to throw for it. Caught in the backfield, it's Harris. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks. And you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. And no shot at a return here as the punt flies out of bounds. The Gators sending the offense back to work. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking to throw, it's Lagway. He makes the grab. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone and understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. He's going to pass. Just a short pass to the tight end. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Let's say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. Using his legs to buy some time. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. You can tell this is a pass play. He has his eyes down the field. He's looking to throw the football. But how nice is it when you've got a guy like this that can scramble and go get you a first down? Just really hard to stop from a defensive perspective. The Gators are moving quickly down the field. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Got it in the middle. It's Hanson. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up. And they'll move the chains with the first down. And that's why they got to keep running the football, man, because play action is going to be a big part of this game plan. You've got to get this tight end over the middle of the field vertically and give him an opportunity because you just saw how dangerous he is after the catch. Now it's first and 10 from the 46-yard line. He wants to throw. Got his man on the right. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. So the decision has been made and the coach will take the penalty. First down here for the offense. To the air, it's Lagway. He's going to throw deep right side. Got it! And he was dying to push his way in there, but he's knocked down at the three. All right. 
gave up the big play defense. I know they got a big chunk, but they didn't get in the end zone. You live to fight another day. Now you got to bow your necks up and make this stop inside the five. And the Gators trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Gators! Backed up in the shadow of their own goalpost, no problem. When you start in the black zone inside your own 20 coming out, it's difficult. You can give up a safety, you get worried about that. And the offense puts a great drive together. Great job executing, great job getting a touchdown. Getting set for the point after. And the PAT makes it 7 0. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Coming out with it, it's Davis. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. The Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up. Trying play action. And the Heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and that can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. They've got them then deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Grabbed behind the line, it's Harris. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. You gotta love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch, gave up the completion. What do you do? You set up fourth and long, you're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Slips through the line. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. After the misconnection, it's second down. Back to pass, it's Lagway. Able to make the catch, but not in the field of play. It's an incomplete pass. And this was a quarterback. You're trying to... And it looks as if they buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. Shotgun snap on third down. And that pass intercepted. Looking for more room. 
And after the interception, able to get it in plus territory, taking it back to the 41. Well, the defense comes away with the pick there with their nickel personnel. I think moving forward, if you're on offense, when you see that personnel on the field, you want to run the ball against it because you got smaller guys out there. Or if you're going to throw, think about quick screens outside when you have tight ends flexed on the perimeter, bigger bodies blocking smaller guys. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. And the Rebels in the hurry up. Comes out throwing on first down. A shot for the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. And that's just a huge miss opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another clean look like that in the rest of this game. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Wants to throw. It's dark. Quickly complete. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And that's the danger. When you've got a receiver like that, if you blitz and you're playing man coverage, he's one-on-one, -on -one and he's going to burn you if you don't get home to the quarterback. The Rebels will have it first and ten. From the gun, the ground game. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. From the gut, the running back looking for room. Brought down at the seven after picking up three. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Rebels! One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down, when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. The AT unit on the field. Splits those uprights right in half. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they closed the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. As the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Back to throw, it's Flagway. 
He makes the connection. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Well, when you're running the drag route against man coverage like that, as a quarterback, you've got to put the ball out in front of your target. When you do that, you give the guy a chance to then advance the football up the field, pick up a first down like they did right there. Now the defense will try to rise up on third and short from the 21. From the gun, wants to pass. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. The Gators will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets a block. The coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got him cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball to the score. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. It'll be a draw. At the 45 on his way. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. Well, how about the draw play? What's the first thing you have to do? You got to sell pass. Everybody believes it for just a second. The running back gets a little bit of space. And once he gets space, you can see he knows how to navigate and get down the field and make a big play. To the ground. He's got it again. They're trying to send a message with this running game. He stopped after a pickup of four to the 33. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. Scanning the field. It's dark. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. And I love when you understand when I'm supposed to put some RPMs on that football. You could tell he's thrown over the middle of the field. He knows he's got defenders there. I got to throw this thing in there quick, fast, in a hurry. Nice job by the quarterback. He'll pull it on the read. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Really nice job by the defense shutting down all the options. Don't let him get into his reading phase. Go get him right now, play sound, and more importantly, tackle him and get him on the ground. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll keep it on the ground right up the gut, looking for six. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, oh! love it. I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way, give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone.
Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. That drive covered 62 yards for the touchdown, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Leaves it with the running back. That hole closed quickly, a pickup of one to the 15. Yeah, a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well, but if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. To the air, it's Lagway. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. I don't know if the quarterback read the coverage properly on that one, but obviously the result is an incompletion. They couldn't connect on second down. Now staring at a third and nine. From the gun, wants to pass. Slips away. He hurls one deep down the left side. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Running it back, it's Davis. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. And the Rebels want to pick up the tempo. On second down, he'll let it fly. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Harris. Makes a catch and knockdown. They're trying to throw the wide receiver screen and pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carry on that one. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking downfield, it's Dart. Got his man to the left. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains and he's got it at the 34. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer, that's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's gonna break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. Relying on that running game, and it works for about three yards to the 31. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football and let him get lathered up. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Now the play fake. Snagged in the middle. It's Lee. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. This offense is clicking. Everything working together really well. Coordinator, quarterback, offensive line. Good rhythm, good flow. Defense is going to have to find something to kind of mess up this timing they got going on. The Rebels have their offense in high gear. Quarterback on the keeper. Gets it all the way down to the two-yard line. He was fighting for that end zone. And I just love having a decisive quarterback. Like, give him options, but he makes a decision, sticks his foot in the ground, says, I'm going to get the first down, and he gets it. 
And the Rebels have it with a first and goal. On the ground. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Rebels! Wow, this offense. They have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them on top 21 to 7. They marched the ball 51 yards for the score and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Hawkins. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Florida has the ball back and here comes the offense. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven point game. So Palmer, no need to panic. I was just gonna say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. The gift to the back. Nice move to stay on his feet. Tackle is made after the first down. This guy's got a lot of tools in his toolbox, toting the rock, man. He showed you right there. And when I think back to Florida running backs, Emmett Smith, all-time great. But a guy I played with in Gainesville, Fred Taylor. He was so big, but so fast for a guy his size. He just caused so many problems for the defenses we face. And I think in the SEC today, you have got to be able to run the football if you're going to win games. And this guy right here, he's going to give the Gators a chance. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Dropping back, it's Lagway. Finds his man down the middle. Knocked down at the 44, but he got 15 on that one. Love the location of the throw on that slant pass. Put it out in front of the receiver, put it on his face mask so he can catch it and try to advance. The Gators come to the line with a new set of downs. Going up top on first down. Caught over the middle, it's Johnson. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. You see this more and more in college football. Motion the running back out of the backfield. What am I looking for? I'm looking to see if it's man coverage. Does a linebacker go and chase him? If he does, guess what I get to do? Take advantage of my matchup. I like my speed better than yours. The pull and throw off the RPO. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Now they've moved it just inside the 40. First and 10 from the 39. Red pass is complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. Power football with the run. Crosses the 30 to the 29 before he stopped. Pick up a five on the play. It's a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Inside the 30 at the 29, it's a first down. He's looking to throw it. Fires deep toward the end zone. 
And it's caught! Touchdown, Florida! Man, oh man, it doesn't get easier than that. Look at the receiver. He gets wide open. Where's the defense? Nobody around. Easy pitch, easy catch. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they're down a touchdown, 21-14. So a drive there of 84 yards, and they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put... Oh, look out! There he goes! The defense got caught that time, and they finally get him on the ground at the 41. It's amazing in college football, the tight end position and how much has changed. Back in the day, you're a blocking guy. Maybe you catch a flat route. Today, these guys have athleticism, and you just saw it from that dude after the catch on that last one. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. What a job to lay out and make the catch. What a great grab. This guy has been unstoppable all game long. Wherever he's lined up, the quarterback's been looking his way. And I got to tell you, I would too. If you're going to make catches like that for me, I am going to force feed you the football. The Rebels want to crank the tempo. He'll do it himself. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. That's what's so great about these QB runs. They just chip away at the defense. And as this game goes on, these little QB runs, they're going to help keep third downs manageable for this offense. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Dropping back. It's dark. He's got it and still on his feet. Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. Well, he was licking his chops. As soon as he saw Blitz, he knew some guy was trying to cover him man-to-man. -man. Ain't going to happen. With his skill set, he's one of the best in the country, and that is just way too easy. This offense is about to face the one thing that can stop it. Time expiring in the first half. Before then, they can get another score. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Ole Miss. And he's in for his third rushing touchdown. You college fantasy football players, that is what you want to see. Plus six, plus six, plus six. Let's go. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good for a 28-14 lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. They're just about ready to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Wilson. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points. You've got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. 
And it's such a good opportunity to cut it to a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. Back to pass, it's Lagway. He's got his man. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. Looking to move it through the air. Fires to the tight end. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Wants to throw on second down. The quick out. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Yeah, when you get that man coverage, most people are taught to have inside leverage. So that out route's there. If your QB can put some air on it and throw it outside of the guy, but tight coverage, but a really nice throw on that out route. And the Gators with the first and ten. He's gonna pass catch in the middle it's Hanson make the stop at the 40 but it's a 10 yard gain and a fresh set of downs we got a timeout here late in the first half and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break now on first down from the 40 he wants to throw fires to the right and it's incomplete if you're going to take a hit like that you might as well hang on to the ball Got to give the defense a lot of credit, man, because they've come into this hostile environment. They've quieted the crowd down with some of the plays they're making. They've got a nice lead right here, and they're making it hard for this quarterback to go to work. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. They'll go to the air. Fires left. And he bats it away. It falls incomplete. Yeah, and I like the shot, the aggressive play down the field. We like throwing those jump balls up to my receiver because usually the receiver makes the play and makes the defender look bad. Nice job by the defender getting a hand on it, tipping that ball away from the wide receiver. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and ten. Looking deep down the right side. He got it, and he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Gators! And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point cuts the lead to 7, 28-21. So a drive there of 85 yards, and the score comes on a pass from 40 yards out. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. Just couldn't quite stay in bounds while making that grab. It's incomplete. And I think when you go through these progressions as a quarterback, you want to find the right guy to throw to, obviously. I just, I didn't think he was the right guy. I didn't think he was really that open. And listen, he sailed and he overthrew it, but I might have surveyed the middle of the field a little bit. After the incompletion, it's second and ten from their own 25. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Oh, did he find a hole in the defense? Hit the afterburners, kid. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown, Rebels. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game.
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. What a display of explosive capabilities on that drive. 75 yards, two plays, and a touchdown. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So let's see how they play it in this final 30 seconds of the first half. They'll leave it with the lone back. Makes the stop at the 33, but it's a 15-yard gain. The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Looking for a man. It's Lagway. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. This offense just has to find a way to find a rhythm here. They're playing at home, and they want this crowd to stay involved and be an asset in the game, but they need to start making plays. They can't keep throwing incompletions this early. One more play before the teams head to the locker rooms. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. It's incomplete, and they tried to finish this quarter with a bang and couldn't quite connect. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. What a scene there in Gainesville. What a fine college football game we've got. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. With that said, let's send it back to our guys and all those chomping hands there in the swamp. The Gators will line up to kick off and start the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. If it's working, why change it? And that running game was working in the first half. I imagine we'll see a lot more of it here in the third quarter. And you just know the offensive line was telling their coordinator, put this on us. Let us continue to go out there, push these guys around. We can put this game on our back and end this thing by running the ball. And this is a manhood question for this defense. Like, as a defensive lineman, and you're pounding the rock, pounding the rock, like, I got to physically rise to this challenge. This defense has to play more inspired and more physical in the second half. Off the play fake on first down. Complete downfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Just another big play for this guy who spent the entire game wide open, couple of touchdowns there, and he moves the sticks again, David. Yeah, so I'll keep finding him, Reese. I mean, this is a guy that, listen, we're in the second half now. He's already made plays. I know I can trust him, so I'm going to continue to feature him in this offense because I know he'll continue to make big plays. And the Rebels come to the line in the hurry up. The RPO fire complete to the left. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Now, I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. They want to just keep throwing it. Let's it fly deep downfield. And he's got it. Touchdown, Ole Miss. 
I'm going to spread you sideline to sideline with all my speed, make you cover the whole field. Nice job by the offense. Go with a little spread look, taking advantage of the speed they had on the field and getting the big touchdown. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably score pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. Dropping back, it's Lagway. Unloads to the wideout. That one never had a chance. Incomplete. Nothing the receiver could have done on that play, guys. You're not expecting the ball to be thrown behind you like that, especially in the quick game. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. Pocket starts to collapse. He's right on target. Great job creating space. That's what you're supposed to do. When you get man coverage, you got to find a way to get a step, make it easy for your quarterback to read that leverage. And when he drags across the field, he can see he had him. He completes it for the first down. The Gators will call on their punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They had this thing in a hammerlock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing, Palmer. They've done what they want in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Unleashes one deep. And good hands there by the defense on that shot to the end zone. And I know most offensive coaches, they're going to be thrilled taking all these 50-50 shots against man coverage. I don't know, though, if they want to keep testing that defensive back. He has been on fire. Line getting set on second down. He'll try to pop the draw. Oh, he's so hard to get on the ground. He's got room. Touchdown, Rebels! And the pummeling has started. Have yourself a day, young fella. You know why they handed him the ball a lot? Because he did that. That's his fourth trip to pay dirt. This dude has shown you a little bit of everything. What a great back. And four touchdowns on the day. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And he closed the deal by racing 35 yards to pay dirt. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Gators sending the offense back to work. They believe they can run right here. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. 
I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. To throw. It's Flagway. Throws to the tight end. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. Well, this defense knew coming into this one, this offense would take shots. They know they have targets that can fly and push down the field vertically. Nice job in coverage there. When you've already set your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down. He tried to get it on his own. Nice job by the defense getting after the QB. He's trying to scramble around. He's trying to go get that first with his legs, but he's not able to do it because the speed on defense. And the Gators will send out the punt unit. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller too, right? It's like anything that he's calling is working flawlessly. Yeah, it's fun to be the offensive coordinator, but not the defensive coordinator. They have had no answers. It's been an absolutely miserable day trying to solve the riddle of this offense. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to the ground with the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. With the catch, it's Harris. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Rebels will punt this one away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Hand goes into the air for the fair catch, and the catch is made around the 40. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Pulls it in. It's Badger. Second down coming up. To the air, it's Flagway. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. That's one of those plays where you're going, man, he probably could have made that. The defense wasn't great on the play, but guess what? It goes down as an incompletion. Those are one of those bullets that you've got to dodge throughout a game to get the win to limit those big plays. Fires to the big fella. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. Shotgun fundamentals are so key. He was like a shortstop. Caught the shotgun snap and right away rifled it out of his hands like he was turning too. That was beautiful. The Gators will snap it on first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Finds his big tight end. Dances away again. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. 
As a defense, it's so hard covering this guy. Because of his frame, you're not really going to match up. But this guy's also got some wheels. The hard part is bringing him down after the catch. This guy's like a giant giraffe. You're just lions hanging on his neck trying to drag him to the ground. Not easy to do. From the red zone, looking for a space. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. Hey, it's a heads-up play right there. Listen, you're trying to scramble. You're trying to make something happen. Nobody's open. You're not going to be able to get out of bounds. Just protect yourself. Get down on the ground. Get what you can get. And live to play another day. It'll be second down. And remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Wide receiver coming across in motion. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Now, if you want to run the ball up the middle, you're going to have to block that guy. I mean, nobody even touched him, and he slanted right into the backfield, made the tackle for loss. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out of the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Absolutely perfect. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead ball. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Takes the handoff. It's Parrish. Not a lot of daylight, he gets one to the 32. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Faced with a third and short from their own 32 to keep this drive alive. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Still on his feet at the 45. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, they get another big run for a first down, and if you're on offense, you love the way your offensive line is blocking early in this game. They are getting tremendous movement, and they're making life pretty easy for these running backs right now. They'll give it to the back. They'll stop him at the 41, but he's got 10 yards, and they'll move the chains. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. And the Rebels are on the move. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Finds the tight end. All the way down to the 25-yard line. They move the sticks. It's first down. You know, we joke that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them covered. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open, and they find holes in zones, or they get good matchups. And man, those tight ends nowadays are nightmares for defenses to try to stop. Catch in the middle. It's Parrish. You know, and that's why this guy can play first, second, and third down. You've already seen him earlier in the drive rip off some nice runs, but he can catch the football as well. They're going to find ways to get him going in all sorts of ways, but you're seeing it specifically on this drive. The Rebels have moved it inside the 20.
run in the red zone. It's Parrish. Noses his way forward, maybe gets one. They'll mark it at the 18. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. They'll try to get it through the air. Had to throw it before he wanted. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. I like the decision by the quarterback there because it's third and short. You're in field goal range. You can't take a sack and knock yourself out of that field goal range. You certainly don't want to force the football into traffic, risking an interception. Throw it away. Now you can kick the field goal if you want to. So now on comes the field goal unit. And it's right down the boulevard. Wait just a second. There is first a flag round. on the play. If this is a good defense, 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 it could be a first down. Might be the worst case scenario for this defense. Thought they'd held them to three. Now the offense with a chance for more. Give to the running back. Nowhere to go on that run. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. One more quarter to go and it looks as if we are ready to play. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. Pushes ahead for two to the seven yard line. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. Looking to throw on third and goal. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. You gotta give the defense tons of credit because we know how much speed this quarterback has. That time you saw the pursuit, they were able to bring him down for a big loss on the sack. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. And he'll try to knock it through from the right hash and 35 yards out. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. And they'll push that lead out a little further. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Gators sending the offense back to work. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step too here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. That's quite a start to a drive, and now they'll snap it from midfield. Looking to go up top on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught. But how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. Back to throw. It's Lagway. He's got his man. Makes the grab. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. 
Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers to his it's a big stride inside the 10. Touchdown, Florida. What a catch and run for six. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting. Had so much success today. you got to find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Splits the uprights. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they pay it off with a strike from 38 yards out. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. From the shotgun, they'll run it. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. They go to the ground. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're on offense. You have the lead. You want to chew the clock, keep the ball on the ground, keep that thing just ticking, Palmer. They're just imposing their will, Dave, and that's something that we've seen, I think, all game. Up front, they've been the more physical team. They're the ones that's getting pushed and that's getting movement, and it's carrying over all the way here deep into the fourth quarter. Not much he could do there. Does pick up two to the 34. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Out of the gun to give to the back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. And stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense. Showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. He'll keep it himself. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. As a defensive guy now, you're always zoomed in on the quarterback. I mean, these guys, they're whether they're throwing the football or running it, at least they have the football in their hands every time. You know where they're going to be. You focus in the defense, lock them low, and understand what they were trying to accomplish, doing a good job getting to the quarterback, and then make those physical hits count. Finish those, finish those tackles with aggressive hits. Make that quarterback feel you for a whole length of the game. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. Looking downfield, it's Lagway. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. At the 35, he's loose. He turns this into a nice gain and gets down to avoid the hit. Nice job by the QB, sit back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home, take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. After a big gainer on that first play, now they can really go for it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. 
fires to the big fella. And they pick up just a few on that completion. That's a great example of the defense there tackling the catch. As soon as the big fella caught the ball, down he went, not picking up the first. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete, charred loose by the hit. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. Right down the middle. He's got an open man. They're ripping off chunks of yard to take, get it to the 33. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. And receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. The Gators are on the move. They'll throw it on first down. He's got his man. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. Looking at a second and short now. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That defense is about getting off the football. And when that defensive line can be disruptive and get in the backfield right away and mess up those pullers' actions on those counter plays, it can be really advantageous for the defense. Great job by the defense being hyperactive. It's a makeable field goal from the 29-yard line. Let's see how aggressive throws toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Well, trailing this much in the fourth quarter, the offense is looking for an explosive play to try to ignite them and get them back in this one, but nothing doing. Nice job in coverage. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes the catch. He's got it up. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. I love the aggressive nature offensively there. It's fourth down, and you're going to try and go for it. And you have so much confidence in your quarterback to be able to make that play, come up with a good throw, keep the drive alive. And the Gators have it with a first and ten. From the red zone, looking for a man. Touchdown, Gators! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. A methodical drive that they finish off by tossing it to the tight end. And the tight end, I tell you what, this is a position that's evolved so much, right? And you see him move all over the field. It's kind of like, where is Waldo? You got to find this big fella, especially down in the red zone area. This is the guy they're going to target and make the big play, get the touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. Right down the boulevard. He marched 78 yards down the field. And the finisher, an 18-yard touchdown throw. They've got it down to a two-touchdown deficit, trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's Davis. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Quickly to the tight end. And he might be known for one pitch, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in the game like this, right? You still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space. And that is exactly what this offense is doing. And the Rebels will hustle to the line. Looking for a gap. It's Parrish. Picks his way ahead. Pick up a three and gets it to the 20-yard line. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the 
field on third down. The give and tick, 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 tick. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, force feed it to him, and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game, and the defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. He'll call for the fair catch here. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. After the misfire, it's second and ten. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. They're bringing heat. Takes the easy one to the back. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Now, on offense, you're trying to get your running back involved here in the passing game, and obviously no success on that play. Defense seemed like they were aware of it, and all of a sudden you've set yourself up in a tough position here on third. Got quite a ways to go to keep this drive going. It's third down from the 45. Looking to throw, it's Flagway. Going for the big play. And that one's incomplete. They were just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. You've got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. On fourth down, looking for the completion. He's got him, and they convert. And he's brought down after a nice game. Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? That ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. He need to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. Find his tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. Let's see what they've got on second down. The aerial assault continues. Fires to the right. Had the pick in his hands and couldn't hang on, and you just won't see that from him very often. It'll be third down. This defense is flying around. We've seen examples of that throughout this game, and late in a two-minute drive situation, they almost came away with an interception to ice this one. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves them with a third and six. Unloads to the right. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. That's one thing this defense takes a lot of pride on. They like tackling the catch, and they like being around the ball. That time, he was in proximity to knock that thing loose. Nice physical play. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Fires to the wideout. Finds his man enough for the first. Well, they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion, moving the chains easily. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Throwing right. He's got it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida. And listen, still a ways to go. A great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one-possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stop? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back.
Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. They went 54 yards on that last touchdown drive. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. Trailing by a touchdown here in the fourth, they'll try to get it back with the onside kick. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. One possession game, getting late, first order of business, just take care of the football. So they call this situation four-minute offense, where you're trying to run the football and throw high percentage passes to maintain possession and bleed the clock. This is a very difficult point of the game to execute at a high level. Yeah, and listen, what you understand as an offense is if I get one or two first downs, this ball game's over. And that's your sole objective. Not scoring, take care of the football, get a few first downs, walk out with a W. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. From the 36, a third down, and you wonder if they're willing to take two plays to get the first. The handoff keep working on that clock. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picks up the first down. Man, this offense would really like to lean on this guy in the fourth quarter, right? They've got the lead, and you just saw his ability there, breaking a tackle. He looks like he's getting stronger as the game goes on. I'd expect him to get a few more carries here before this game's over. And it looks as if the offense will just take a knee. 